All right, guys, got this new flash that, that came in. Let's unbox this thing. I'll show you what I got. I already opened it up a little bit. Wasn't expecting it this fast. Bought it about probably like a week or two ago. There it is. Let's see if I can focus in here for you. KD Liquor. I don't know if I'm even pronouncing that correctly. Some SST30 up to 9 volt P60 flashlight. Has a drop in with it as well. Mainly bought for the drop in. Probably sell the flashlight. Let's see how much I paid for this thing. 20 bucks and free shipping. That's a hell of a deal. Wonder if it has the date on here. Uh, well, that day is completely wrong. I think I must have ordered. I'll, I'll say I ordered it on the fifth, so it took a couple weeks to get in. And definitely in August already. So I don't know what the hell they're doing on that. <laughs> All right, let's unbox this thing. As you can see, it's packed really well. Padded envelope, bubble wrap. It reminds me a lot of uh, Solar Force. So we're, I think we're going to see the threads are the same. Picked the 4000K. Nice packaging here. Kind of reminds me of Solar Force again with the packaging. So it's very possible they might actually make these lights for them. Oh. Flip box your O-rings. Wrist lanyard. Extra rubber boots. Oh, that's pretty cool. They actually include a cleaning cloth with it. There's their website if you want to take it out. They do got a lot of flashlights, a lot of drop-ins. Oh. A little bit different than Solar Force with the head. Tail cut kind of looks the same. Threads are nice and smooth. I do like the bezel on this thing. Looks pretty good. I like the little grip right there. There's the drop in. It does have some weight to this thing. As compared to most uh, P60 drop ins. Oh. Alright. So let's just see right now if the threads are the same as Solar Force for the heck of it. I have a Solar Force L2P body. And they are not actually the same threads. That's good to know. You see the tail cap threads are the same, they're probably not again. Yeah, different threads again. So maybe Solar Force does not actually make this. Similar tail clap right here. Tail switch. See, it has a retaining ring so it can be replaced. Alright, well, let's power this thing on and see what happens. I do have some well tool batteries I'm going to be using in these. A little loose since this thing can fit an 18650 battery.
See, it's nice and bright. Camera's not doing this justice. It's trying to focus on it. Let's go three modes. Let's see if this thing has memory. It does. Let's pop this open. It actually has a little, like, weapon ring that came with it. Right here. This is rubber. Gonna be going right there. Oh, I just hit the camera. Nice little light. Let's drop this uh, LED bulb into my Surefire flashlight. That's the main reason why I bought this thing. Here's the model that I'll be tossing into a Z2 combat light. Take out everything here. Surefire LED I got in there. A couple batteries. I'm going to remove the outer spring. Like most drop-ins, that's what you need to do. Throw the head back on here. As you can see, I got a nice updated cooling bezel. Gonna toss my well tool batteries in here. These are rated at 3 volt. Little built in micro USB charger right there, which I like. And with that, there's not much of a rattle at all. Same size as the 1, 2, 3 batteries. And the wrong tilt cap, as you can see. Let's put the right one on. Bada boom! 20 bucks, I updated my Surefire flashlight with a really nice bulb. Got an extra flashlight body out of the deal, so I can just throw it in the <laughs> drawer, I guess. Possibly use it down the road. Any questions, feel free to put it in the comments there, and make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks.